Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for none other than Dr. Atim Nathan Benayimon. As we all know, As we all know, uh, Dr. Rachid is a well-serving, renowned medical practitioner in South Sudan and also here. Uh, he's a veteran uh, of the Liberation for the Freedom of South Sudan. Welcome, Dr. Rachid. Thank you.
Uh, the dogs are running away from them. Anyway, uh, let me come back to the DIMA issue. Uh, DIMA, uh, Dr. John uh, knew the struggle will be protracted. And uh, so there was always a planning ahead for places where Jejang uh, Park would be trained and so on. So, uh, one thing unique about Gejamar Tadima, Gejamar uh, of Dima was a microcosm of South Sudan. Because there were Gejamar from all nationalities, unlike some other camps which were like uh, when it was mainly Dinka uh, camp and Tarpa was mainly a word camp, but Dima was the microcosm. We had Dejama from all uh, nationalities. Now, the first group of Dejama, when they arrived in Dima, the first problem was the problem of Tuk-Tuk. Because the young ones, the Tuk-Tuk was a big issue. And we really struggled with it, and it was difficult. And uh, that is where Mama Adit uh, came in very handy in managing the cases of Tuk-Tuk uh, in the Kejama. Then, after the Tuk-Tuk, there was the issue of hygiene and diarrhea. We had a lot of diarrhea diseases in Dima. And uh, there was a story. One, there were some Dejama staying with me in the house. So, uh, I also had a run in the stomach. And then I took ORS and I mixed it and I drank it. So the Gijamar saw it and they went and told them that this Shokomile is a very powerful drug. Even Dr. Ajim, he takes Shokomile. So from that time, Shokomile became very famous and everybody who goes to the clinic, if he is given medicine and no Shokomile, then he is angry with <laughs> him. And then we had uh, a problem with the respiratory infections. Many of the Jezahmar were having uh, respiratory infection and even up to the level of uh, some of them will have TB. So I, I was not directly involved, but I was at the macro level. So we had to see to it that uh, those diseases are addressed. And then there was a time whooping cough became a big issue. There was an outbreak of whooping cough. And so uh, we had to talk to the UNHCR people to provide vaccination. And then vaccination was made available in the camp. Uh, in the Dima camp, we we were thinking of a holistic education. So extracurricular activities were very important for us in the camp. So we, uh, we used to encourage gardening and actually many of the Jejahmar were very good gardeners. They cultivated gardens uh, along the, the river Nile. And even UNHCR became interested and they brought vegetable seeds and so on and carried them to do gardening. And then there was a time even a bamboo workshop was open and so on. And then at a later date, we had an uh, issue of malnutrition because the rations were dry ration and it was not a balanced diet. And I, since uh, Dr. John was the 
because sometimes I used to uh, just dress like Jajamar and then go and mix with them uh, without them being noticed and I used to be able to understand what is going on in the camp. My small size uh, was an asset to me. Sometimes I can just go and listen to them talking about my administration, uh, how the things are being done badly and so on, and then I can uh, make some corrections to what I have been doing. Uh, my time with Dima and with the Jeshamwar was very memorable, and those uh, are uh, material for some books in the future. Uh, finally, I thank Jeshamwar uh, for this opportunity to honor us. It's a great honor for us to have been recognized uh, in this way. Uh, I thank you very much. Thank you very much, Victor uh, and Jim, uh, with that insightful history. It is, of course, highly invaluable, and that's why we're all here today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick announcement. I know we are talking, and that is a sign that we are tired of sitting, so I totally understand that. What will happen next, uh, so that we can actually wake up and stand up a little bit, is to call upon uh, Reverend David Wolamo to come and pray for our refreshments. And while he's here, definitely we might stand up and uh, maybe sing a song. Uh, okay, that has changed. Uh, we call upon uh, Reverend John Aguto uh, to come and do that honor. Thank you very much. And may the equatorial dancers be ready, please.
The third person, because we are running behind the time, the, first person, the third person is Nyakola Jing, honoring and presenting to Dr. Atim Nathan. The third person in line is Aduna Lair. Again, uh, she's honoring and presenting uh, to Mama Victoria Da Aro. She is honoring and presenting to General James Both Mai. And finally, we have a one now. She is honoring and presenting to General <laughs> PM Day. I'll just give you one minute uh, to my call to say one word and that will mark the end of our presentation tonight. In the meantime, can we welcome the Yipo Children Dances?
Thank you.